Hi and welcome back after quite some time. If you've followed this channel before, you will know I haven't uploaded for quite some time. That's because um, I've been traveling around. Um, I'm still traveling around, but hopefully um, not so much traveling. So I hope to upload some more videos on this channel. I have so much um, to talk about politics and give my opinion. But I wanted to do this video today to talk about the oil price cap that Europe have imposed on Russian oil. Now, after a lot of debate, there was a number of nations um, against the cap altogether. Some wanted a higher cap. You've got crazy countries like Poland who wanted a cap at $30 a barrel. But they finally agreed on $60 per barrel for Russian oil. And the way they're imposing this is that they've told um, the insurance companies of the ships, um, the oil tankers that carry the oil, that if they carry oil that's been um, paid for at higher than $60 a barrel, they won't cover their insurance and, and various other um, administrative things that they want to do. Now, this is all well and good in principle, but in practice it's just absolutely insane. It's not going to work at all. And in fact, um, not so many hours after the uh, price cap was initiated, um, oil was trading, Russian oil in Asia was trading at $79 a barrel. Now, the problem is, is oil is a world market. It's not just confined to Europe and it's Europe and I believe the USA, possibly Japan, who've imposed this cap. The rest of the world, now the rest of the world includes some of the largest oil buying nations, countries like China, countries like India, Indonesia. Now, none of these countries have agreed to go along with a price cap. Now, for a price cap to work, the whole world needs to agree, and they haven't. Now, Europe seems to think that they're big enough to be able to control the price of Russian oil. I think they're completely deluded in that thought. Now, Russia have already said that any nation that is involved in this price cap, they will not sell oil to. Currently, Russia is selling most of its oil to um, China, India, uh, East Asia, and I don't think it's a big problem for Russia to um, not have Europe as a customer. Now, this is where I think Europe are absolutely stupid. They've already shot themselves in the foot with all the other sanctions they've imposed on Russia. Um, and now they're imposing even more sanctions. And Ursula von der Leyen seems to think it will... Um, reduce the revenues that, that Russia get. But as we can see, Russia still have no problem selling their oil to um, East Asia. And one other thing, if oil does start to fall too low in price, then OPEC plus will just decrease production and hence the price will go back up because there'll be a shortage. But Ursula von der Leyen also suggested that they feel that this will stabilize um, world energy markets. Well, I actually disagree with that and, and there's some evidence already appearing. There's a blockade of ships um, that are sort of building up to sail through Turkish waters because Turkey have insisted that they check the paperwork of all ships carrying oil through that area of water. However, these are not Russian ships. These are ships carrying oil from other nations because Russia have already spoken to Turkey and they've already provided all the paperwork um, that shows the Russian tankers carrying Russian oil to Southeast Asia uh, have insurance. And those ships have been insured either by Moscow or it's believed some have been insured by um, Chinese insurance companies in Shanghai. Additionally, um, Russia don't need um, the services of so many other um, oil carrying countries, tankers. And that's because over the last number of months, they obviously saw this um, price cap come in and they've invested in buying a fleet of oil tankers themselves, which are just, as I just said, they will insure either in Moscow or in other parts of the world. So they will be totally unaffected by the um, 
insurance issues that the EU have imposed. Now, what will happen is that if oil does start to get too cheap, OPEC Plus will meet and they will decide to cut production. And um, Russia have said that they won't supply oil to any European um, country or any other country that is part of this price cap. Now, what will happen? These countries still need oil and they need lots of oil. And that just means that these countries will go to um, Europe, will go to countries like India and China and be buying Russian oil. But they won't be buying it at the same price as that China and India will be buying it. They will be paying it at a premium and that will just again confine confound to Europe's problems of stoking inflation um, higher manufacturing cost um, and as a side note we've, we've recently seen a report that suggests um, gas consumption in Europe is um, declining now that is not because most people or companies are saving energy it's because a huge amount of manufacturing has either reduced or shut down completely and this higher energy cost together with the um, inflation reduction act that's being passed in america is um, causing european companies to consider their investments going forward and also their manufacturing bases we've had bmw so that they're moving production from the uk of the electric mini to china and we've had basf one of europe's largest chemical producers really really big german company they've announced that they will scale back their investment in europe but increase their investment in southeast asia so in conclusion, this um, oil price cap is just going to cause more issues for the countries involved. It's certainly not going to make things better. And I find it absolutely crazy that these high paid politicians in Europe, who are unelected by the way, put this policy into practice, which is just going to hurt the people of their respective countries. Anyway, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave your comments down below. But as always, for now, take care.